Welcome to CK4RC. Hey, welcome back. I'm here. You're here. Let's do this again. Let's get into it. Last time, worked on a scale garage, trying to get some details um, and just create a nice little scale world for my trucks. Well, uh, I don't want that to just end with accessories. I want to do that with my trucks too. Let's get into it. So, I was on the Book of Faces. Most people call it Facebook. Um, and I saw a guy named David Cook. He had this truck. Well, not this one, because this one's mine. I've already established that. King Chaos license plate up front there. Mine. Nobody else's. Anyway. He had the orange power wagon. And what he did was he printed out some wooden stickers. And he cut this bad boy up and he put it right here in the slats on the bed and along the, the outside of it. And really just gave this thing an amazing scale look. And I saw it and I liked it. And so I said, hey, you want to send me some of those stickers? I'll send you some of mine. He said, they're already in the mail. And then I said, well, crap. Now I got to go to the post office. David, if you haven't got those stickers, let me know. I'll send you some more. If you did, cool. Use them. Stick them on stuff. So I'm going to do with the ones you sent me. And you're not going to be able to see this on the video, but if I, hold, if I get a little glare on this, maybe, maybe. These are die cut. Ooh, I don't know if that's working or not. Whatever. Let's pretend that it did. These are die cut into like wooden planks to where I can just take these, just measure the length, lay them in there. And it's going to give a really nice scale look to the bed of my power wagon. It's going to make this thing really stand out as an individual vehicle. Because let's be real, there are too many power wagons to count in the scale crawler world. Now, the other thing, people are always asking me, hey, man, you're going to use the rack on the back? That's what people sound like in my head. Whatever. Sorry. The answer is, yeah, maybe, probably. I mean, I, I plan on it. But the thing about the rack that came with the power wagon is it's just a hunk of black plastic. It doesn't look particularly scale. And everybody's using it, so again, it's not going to make mine stand out anymore. Um, and just little molded pieces of plastic, that's not cool. It also came with some scale accessories that uh, screw on or latch on to the, to the rack. You know, there's a couple shovels, there's an axe, there's some jerry cans, there's some traction boards. Um, there's a, whatever you call this thing, the... Uh, off-road tall jack. Yep. Um, but they're all just generic dyed uh, plastic. And especially like the shovels and the axe, they're just black. And when you mount them on the black rack, it's just more pieces of black plastic that all just blend together. So what I did was I went to the store and I got me some markers. Got me some permanent markers. Because I don't want them to be temporary, you know. Got me a good old silver Sharpie because you can't go wrong with Sharpie. And then I got me some multicolor markers here as well. Most of these colors I don't need. I probably don't need orange and pink and who knows. Maybe down the road, but not right now. So what I did was I took one of the silver Sharpies and who boy, was it ever silver. Um, so I tested it already off camera, um, and these shovels, let me show you these shovels, huh? Look at that. That is silver. These were just plain black plastic pieces. Now, I got me a couple shovels, um, and then I did the axe head. <laughs> Tiny, <laughs> but I did it, so that's cool. And then I took a black marker and I started doing the jack. I uh, did the kind of the steel plate there on the bottom. I just started doing that with black uh, just to give a little pop of color. Um, even though it's black and I just railed about all the black plastic, 
um, just to make it not so uniform. Uh, I'll probably do the locking mechanism and, and the handle. Um, maybe I'll do that with the, the silver um, or something just to give that a little bit of coloration. Is that a real word? I don't know. We'll go with it. Um, and yeah, so once I have that done, hell, I don't know. Maybe I'll even just kind of color the, the rack as well. We'll see. Maybe I'll get crazy and do that. Oh. Um, and so David Cook, look him up on Facebook. Um, he printed off a whole bunch of different varieties of these wooden planks. Um, he used restored oak, and that's what I saw. And I said, let me get that. And so I also have restored oak. Um, as far as I know, these are the only two that have the restored oak. He has this weathered barn wood that looks incredible. So if you look him up on Facebook, ask him about the weathered barn wood because, oh, that would look nice in the back of a power wagon. Anyway, the next thing I had some pallets 3D printed to go along with my garage. Um, well, they came solid yellow, just like this. Not a whole lot of detail. It's 3D printed, so it's not like there's like wood planks or anything like that. It's just kind of a, just a solid hunk of plastic. It's got the slats in here to make it look like it's wood, you know. Um, got these printed up from a guy in California. He goes with waxy 3D prints. So if you need something printed up, he has been fantastic. He's printed several things for me, um, and he's done a really great job with the communication, with the quality, with the prices, with the super fast shipping. So if you're looking for something to get 3D printed and you don't have a 3D printer like me, check him out. He's awesome. Zion Marshall, that's what his name is. Waxy 3D prints. All right, so I started working on one of these off camera as well, just to kind of test it and see what would happen. So I took the brown permanent marker and I just started coloring. Um, and it really, it didn't turn out too bad at all. Um, I did a couple um, layers on it and I kind of streaked it up a little bit, tried to give a little bit of kind of, I don't know, a wood grain finish. That's not how it turned out, but it's actually not too shabby. Um, and the yellow um, plastic that, that comes through the, the brown ink uh, just kind of, you know, just gives it a little bit of a, not like a, a brown turd of a look. Can I say that on YouTube? Am I allowed to say brown turd? Sure. So, started doing that. And, I mean, I've got me, you know, a little bit of a, a palette here, you know. And if I stack this on top of this one, you know, looky there. I got me, got me a couple pallets, you know. Lay that on the, the, the floor of my garage. Nice scale detail. It's going <clears> to <throat> look really good when I have the power wagon parked in there and just give a, a nice little scale touch. So um, just some things that I'm working on. Um, some other things that you may have noticed, I am really working on kind of my setup down here. Um, so yeah, got a long way to go, but I'm getting there, trying to make some improvements. Hopefully you will notice some, some other good changes to the channel as well. A new introduction video. How about that? Huh? Looking pretty good, if I say so myself. I uh, got a new uniform shirt oh, for the channel. Um, working with only RCs. Um, if you are looking for some great RC gear that you can wear, t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, maybe some hats, onlyrcs.com. They are currently working on a line of scale crawler shirts to go with a lot of their racing themed shirts. And pretty pumped about this. They just released a collaboration with yours truly for some CK4 RC shirts as well. There's already one live on their website. If you look at the collaboration section, you'll be able to see the shirt that has my logo on it. And that's pretty fantastic. What's even better is. I have a discount code for you. You want to go there and get some shirts, get 20% off at checkout. Use the code CK4RC. It's capital C, capital K, lowercase F-O-U-R, capital R, capital C. That's what it is. You know what? I'm just going to drop it down 
I'll drop it down there. Um, and then you can just see it. That's what we'll do. Um, so some things that, you know, just working on just some, some small projects I got going on. Um, some nice additions that I'm working on with the channel. Uh, just trying to pep things up a little bit and, and jazz things up, spice it up a little bit, all those things. However, I can get a, nope, I'm not going to finish that sentence. That's not YouTube appropriate. Um, Sorry about that, kids. Um, working on some things. That's what's happening. And only RCs. Sorry, got real weird there for a second. Almost got super inappropriate, but caught myself. So, hey, that's progress, guys. Listen, I say stuff that you're not supposed to say out loud. That time, I stopped it from coming out. So, hey, that's a win. All right? So, anyway... Hit that like button. If you know what I was going to say, hit that like button. If you're glad I didn't say it, hit that like button. Uh, if you wish that I would have said it, hit the like button. Um, do that. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think I was going to say. No, don't do that. Um, do leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of this sweet shirt. Only RCs, awesome. Their CK4RC shirt looks fantastic, obviously. Um, but yeah, so a lot of cool things going on. Get your 20% off. Um, stock up on some great shirts. Um, thanks for coming back and checking in. Hit that share button. Let's get the channel out there. Let's get more eyes on it. Um, let more people deal with this. You know, got enemies, something along those lines. Yeah. I mean, spring this on them. Rick rolls are, are old, you know, just make them look at this. Yeah. All right. So, Anyway, thanks for coming back. Thanks for checking in to see some of the little things I'm up to. I've got some big news coming up for my year in review video coming up at the end of this month. So keep an eye out for that. I've got a couple run videos that will be dropping here in the next couple weeks as well, just to kind of change things up a little bit, get outside out in the wild again um, with a couple trucks and, you know, a couple uh, comparison videos to see how uh, they, you know, kind of compete uh, on some trails. Um, so yeah, thanks again for stopping by onlyrcs.com, CK4RC for 20% off. Um, let me know what you guys have been working on. Thanks. And I will see you soon.